Yeah. Maybe this is something that we will clip <laughs> as the explainer of why we're going for uh, for YouTube. I mean, sounds, sounds like a good clips channel trailer. There you go. There you go. Done. Perfect. Content. Diamond Albert says, will you ever stream on Twitch? Here's the thing. I used to. Um, I dislike Google as a company. It's another big <laughs> evil tech company yeah. running in an advertisement model and the click mm -hmm. economy in a way that is going to probably make the human race worse. Uh, and Twitch is probably a bit like that too. Yeah. But in terms of policy enforcement, tools, mm -hmm. Twitch sucks balls. I, I no offense, like there are people I know who like uh, uh, Twitch yeah. or like nice people, but screw Twitch is actually my opinion yeah, right now. I, the... uh, their leadership seems to completely suck. Yeah. Uh, exactly. They are continually out of touch and embarrassing with their community. I think the difference is YouTube doesn't try to do that. YouTube, yeah. <laughs> YouTube has just decided, hello, we're YouTube. We are a platform. We are going to make platform yeah. tools. Away is go. Yeah, it's uh, a comparison I would draw is maybe Google and Twitter do the same thing where they don't editorialize, where they, yeah, add, like basically at all they go, this is a tool. You can do the what you want. We'll step in when things go a little bit wrong, but do whatever. Whereas Twitch is trying to, it, they see where they are and they seem to be trying to address culture a little bit, which is. Yeah, yeah. which probably going to be a losing battle. And I, I'd say the more that Twitch tries to like uh, police its culture and stuff, yeah. the more that the cultural backlash will make that harder for them. And probably mm -hmm. just the more the platform will fall to pieces. Yeah, for sure. I, I'd also say we're, I think we're very different to a lot of Twitch streamers and what we do. Yeah, uh, definitely. No harm to any of them, but of like, of course not. it's not the content that I would like naturally make. Whereas doing something like Linus Tech Tips WAN show, which I know he does yeah. on Twitch, um, that, that's something that's more natural to me. And then I think about what is our distribution platform for that mm. content that we're making. Now we could do that on Twitch, you're not on Twitch right now. You're yeah. on YouTube. You found this stream because you subscribed to our channel. Mm -hmm. We have 620,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. If we go to Twitch, we're kind of starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. And then we're in this thing where when we do a YouTube video, we've always got to shill our Twitch. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, if we've got to be like, hey, we got to shill our Patreon. we got to shill our Twitch. There's like so many calls to action then in our content <laughs> that people are just like, oh my God, stop it. Mm -hmm. But if we're already all on on YouTube and we do our live streams in YouTube, I mean, there we go. It works. So that's thoughts on that. And hey, yeah. maybe this is something that we will clip <laughs> as the explainer of why we're going for uh, for YouTube. I mean, sounds, sounds like a good clips channel trailer. There you go. There you go. Done. Perfect. Content. Yep, I've done it. So it. Um, it's interesting yeah. looking at chat. Yeah. Does not seem to be a humongous uh, amount of hype for, for Twitch. Yeah, I think I think Twitch is uh, from the general user experience is not too bad, but I think everyone knows Twitch is bad. But you still go there because that's where your streamers are. So act I think actually going there, if mm. you're anywhere else, is a little bit of a problem. Like that's just it, I just don't. It's even from our perspective as this channel or from the perspective of someone new, it still doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube seems to be completely on the up and up stream wise. I mean, the example I'll use is the live control studio, which is what we have in front of us to see yeah. everything that's going on. It's so, it's like better than their video analytics in ways. Yeah, you yeah. Can, you can it's tell their effort. focus is here and this is gonna be a bit of a weird turn, but looking at the uptick in streaming in general looking at like the vtuber trend like mm. the the, the hollow life channels are like 14 of the top 20 super chatted and oh, they, wow they're driving like millions to streaming it was funny when we looked at that because we're who are the top super chatted channels all mm. all vtubers and then it turns out it was heel versus babyface's oh, birthday yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he was on so it was like vtubers <laughs> Heel versus babyface. <laughs> mm, yeah. So um, I guess he had a real banger of a stream that day. Yeah, most of, most of. Oh, there was, ah, oh, what else? Something else I was going to say about the experience, I think. Yeah, it's, I guess it's the culture where Twitch culture, in terms of the streaming, is very much, hey, this is focused on gaming, focused on like someone's sort of streaming their day. Whereas here we can do a 
because people come to YouTube expecting content and videos in a, like a package form, yeah, we can get away with. I mean, this stream is certainly certainly getting a little bit on in time, but it's kind of like a show. That's the thing. The same much. It's a show. It's not a it's yeah. not a stream for nine hours. It's a show. I think YouTube's like the, the expectations of people are like yeah. more aligned on on this platform for for what we would I think want to do. I'm yeah. not interested in playing a game for nine hours because, to be honest with you, like. I mean, even personally, I'm an introvert. I would be so tired if I was doing like, if I was doing what Preach was doing. Yeah. Uh, and I should say somebody mentioned that they don't like Twitch, but they only are there for Preach. Basically same, like Preach is, I think the, one of the only other like wow people that yeah. I watch. Mm -hmm. um, and that's because he's got a different like angle and experience to me. And uh, yeah. he's also a pretty damn good cracking person. Great guy. Yeah, he's great. Um, he's great. So yeah, you know, different type of content. I think <laughs> it, it makes sense here.